One minute I'm in the pool, I'm a 14-year-old competitive swimmer preparing for a meet. The next minute, I'm fighting for my life. From the onset of symptoms to transplant, it was 10 days. To be a child and get sick is scary. To be told you're so sick you might die is terrifying. All they knew is that I was 14 years old and I was dying and I needed to find a transplant to save my life. They gave me the life-saving liver transplant, but unfortunately, a year later, they discovered that I had a liver disease in the donor. And if it wasn't for the research of the Canadian Liver Foundation, I never would have received the second liver transplant I needed to survive today. There are a lot of um, patients in this country with liver disease. In fact, the Canadian Liver Foundation estimates that it's 1 in 10 or 1 in 12 have some form of liver disease, whether it's serious or, or mild and, and relatively benign. Canada has a need of all specialists, whether it's medical or, or surgical, and that includes liver disease specialists. We don't have that many hepatologists in this country, uh, and yet there's a great, great number of patients who need to see a hepatologist. Well, I'm very happy to partner with the Canadian Liver Foundation. They fund research to the tune of $1 million a year. They have a public awareness and public education campaigns, and they work with uh, liver specialists such as myself. In the blink of an eye, everything can change. Life was going according to plan. I would go to school to become a dentist. I would make my parents proud. I would make lots of money. I would get married. And I would live happily ever after. Then everything fell apart. I didn't know what hepatitis B was really about at that time. I was afraid to tell my close friends what had happened because of the fear of being judged and stigmatized, I felt lost, alone, and hopeless. And I'm grateful for the support of the Canadian Liver Foundation. They're leading the way in raising awareness for liver disease and are spearheading efforts to find a cure, not just for hepatitis B, but for all types of liver disease. Research has brought us a long way in the diagnosis and treatment of liver disease. In the case of hepatitis C, scientists isolated the virus. In 1989, only 23 years ago, ongoing drug development research is bringing new hope that in the next 10 years we'll be able to cure most hepatitis C infections. It is through your donations that the Canadian Liver Foundation will be able to continue the important work that they have been doing in education and research since 1969. The money you give today will help save lives tomorrow. The last thing I remember was being, being wheeled out of the OR. And when I woke up, my wife had asked me what day it was, and I said, well, it's Friday. She's been here for a couple of hours. She said, no, it's Monday. And I said, what do you mean? She says, you've been in a coma. Doctors had told, told us that you had seven days left to live and to get my affairs in order. And lo and behold, you woke up to everybody's surprise. Basically the reason why we decided to start the bowling tournament is we're hoping to raise awareness to the disease and also help the Canadian Liver Foundation toward that goal because it's not out there enough and it really needs to be. We continued it on for five years and I think you know, over the five years we raised close to $30,000, $40,000 for the Canadian Liver Foundation. I'm fighting liver disease with bowling balls.
I was diagnosed with biliotresia at nine weeks old. Biliotresia is a rare and life-threatening, lifelong childhood liver disease with no cure or cause. Even though I am doing reasonably well for a biliotresia kid, it's still really hard sometimes because I can't do the things I want to do with my friends. I have been in and out of hospital all my life. I have liver biopsies, endoscopies, blood tests, ultrasounds and much more. You just never know with biliotresia when things can turn for the worst. I don't know what the future holds for me. With each day, we're getting that much closer to finding a cure. Thanks to my liver transplants, I've got a new lease on life. I'm fighting for my life. I support the Canadian Liver Foundation. Will you?